right. Get your popcorn ready. Yeah. It's time for Adam at the movie. Yes. Yeah, so what is a, coming out this weekend, Adam? This weekend, this is one, and and this is a, a, a period piece, and I'm going to put it in the in a frame of reference for a lot of folks who are probably watching right now who are maybe you're of our age, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There was a time in the school libraries <laughs> when there were books that generally only, you know, a lot of the girls would drift to, and there were books that only the guys would really drift to. Like Encyclopedia Brown was for guys, but the girls often would tend to look to Judy Bloom. And in this case, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, is the film we're looking at oh, today. Yes. Let's just roll the clip and we'll talk about it in a second. I've decided I want you to join my secret club. If you want to be in the club, then you have to wear a bra. Oh. Do you, you think you need one? So here's the thing. <laughs> This is a coming of age story. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, Margaret is 11. She's in sixth grade. So, this is, you know, you're thinking sixth grade. And Liz, you just asked I the just question. asked it because I remember this, reading this book. Yeah. But I'm going, okay, is this for 11 year old Liz or is this for this, old Liz? Here's, here's the nutty <laughs> thing. So, real quick, the story, if you're not familiar with it, you've got this, this 11 year old, Margaret, and she's played by Abby Ryder Fortston. And uh, she's got this added challenge. Her family has moved from New York to Jersey, which is a huge move. She was a city girl and now she's being moved to the suburbs. So she's trying to navigate new friends, hormones, life, and religion all at once. These are some big topics mm -hmm. all rolled into one. So this is a, a lot going on, but this is a coming of age story. And the nutty thing about it, my wife and I were in the theater and we're watching this and we're looking around us. There are three generations that are enjoying this film. Oh, that's cool. Because this book has been out for 50 years. Mm -hmm. And there are, so there's a grandmother character, there's a mother character, there's a daughter character, and there are nuggets of wisdom for each one of them throughout Aww, this whole film. That's really cool. I like yeah. that. So you've got Abby playing uh, Margaret, then you've got uh, here, Rachel McAdams as mom and Benny Safdie as dad in this, and then Kathy Bates as the grandmother. So you've got these three generations. Oh, I love this that. This film is so endearing, it is so heartwarming, so grounded, so earth just bound, it is It's like it's it's a warm, cozy blanket that you need right now. This oh. is a this film is a gem. I really, I love I hearing you say, say that. Enough good things about this film right now, and and I'll say one more good thing about this film. Okay, we collectively have a connection to this film if we do the seven steps of Kevin Bacon uh -huh. announced this because the producer of this film is a guy by the name of James L. Brooks. James L. Brooks is also the producer of The Simpsons, which there's one tie for us, but he's also a producer, director, and writer for The Tracy Ullman Show and for The Mary Tyler Moore Show, but James L. Brooks also has several kids, one of which was a guy by the name of Cooper Brooks. Yeah, who we work closely with here at Fox 13. <laughs> exactly. No way! <laughs> so so we, we had no idea of the family connection the entire time that he was here. He never talked about it. We found out after he had left us, he was moving <laughs> yeah. back to Los Angeles. Yeah. And that's who he was. Yeah. And we all just kind of went, wait, 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 we were sitting next to like royalty this whole time? We had no idea. But he was, well, I mean, the guy wrote broadcast news, yeah. you know, and his kid was working in the newsroom with us, which we were all like, Re that really happened. Yeah. Okay, was he just doing research? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. He's just doing it. But it was. I mean, and it, that was actually the the real interesting thing. Of it is that he was trying to. He was going out, making it on his own, without living or laying on his on, on his father's laurels, which I thought was really also very admirable. But the point is, James L. Brooks is a producer. James L. Brooks does not make bad material. Mm -hmm. James L. Brooks makes good stuff. And uh, director Kelly Freeman Craig is the one who basically took Judy Bloom's. Uh, work. She has reworked it, adapted it for screen. Mm -hmm. I, I can't, like I say, I can't give this enough uh, high praise. This I is love a that. four popcorn. Four popcorn. Four popcorn film runs an hour and 45 minutes. It's perfect PG timing. PG 13. This is your family escapism for the weekend. You've oh, got it planned. Love I just it. got goosebumps. When Love Adam is, is excited about something, This I am is, a thousand percent in. It's whimsy. It's fun. There's a lot to laugh at, and it's also grounded in reality. That might be our first four popcorn uh, movie. I, I, don't, I, that, I don't know if it has been. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Yeah. So yeah, we are we are bridging the divide of the library. Everyone can enjoy this. Oh, love I it. love that so much. Adam, thank you. We also have some fantastic weather to look forward to.